Welcome to the Everymaker, my name is Nick and today we're taking a dip into some woodworking fundamentals to find out how do I tell if my straight edge is actually straight? I don't buy the most expensive tools. Matter of fact, I can pretty much guarantee I've never bought the most expensive tool. I do this as a hobby. But when I look up how to set up a lot of the tools, it almost always says, check it against a straight edge. Make sure that you know it is perfectly flat, perfectly straight. Well, how do you know that unless you buy something that is specifically milled to within a certain percentage of accuracy? Is this going to be perfectly straight? Well, I don't know, but there's a way I can find out. A lot of woodworkers will tell you, oh, just look down the edge of the board and you'll be able to see if that board is twisted or, or is not quite flat. I've never really been very good at that though, because you're looking down the length of this board and well, I, I just don't have the eye for it. So I need another method. And this method is using the board and referencing it against itself to see how far out it is. You need a nice, flat, clean surface that you can draw on. First, I take my reference edge, I lay it down and I draw from end to end. Then I flip that board around, line the ends of the board up with my line, making sure that those ends match exactly. I draw a second line. Now, if that board was perfectly straight, those lines would line up exactly. And as you can see on the end, they line up. But as you get closer to the middle, you can see those lines diverging a little bit. And there's a bit of a gap. Now you can measure that gap, divide by two, because we're doubling the error here, and know how far out that board is. Also, if you're doing some hand tool work, this will give you a really good idea to know exactly where your high spots are. So now I know this one isn't perfectly straight, but what about this store-bought one? Let's see if this is straight. Once again, I take that edge, put it flat on my surface, making sure to hold it down the entire length and scribe my line. I flip that around, line up the ends very carefully. Once everything is perfectly lined up, I scribe another line, making sure not to shift that edge at all. And now we check. And this line seems pretty solid. Your accuracy is only gonna be as good as whatever you're using to mark the line. So if you use a Sharpie, you're really not gonna be able to tell very well how far off that board is. But a nice fine point pencil works pretty well. And now that I have an edge that I know to be pretty darn straight, I can check it against another board to see if there are any gaps. And there are no gaps. If you want to get even more accurate, you can use a marking knife and that'll give you a very fine line. But for my purposes, I am plenty good with the accuracy of a pencil. If you liked this video, hit that like button for me and leave me a comment down below. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm active on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Uh, so you can see kind of what I'm working on and what's in the process. Um, also, if you want to see what videos are coming up on this channel, I have another one that I'm working on, which is how to tell if your square is square. And this was partially because of that. So hit that subscribe button. YouTube thinks that you're going to like this video up here. Uh, so check that out if you would. And I'll see you guys again real soon.